In this video, I'm going to show you how we can embed an Instagram feed like this on your Elementor website for absolutely free. To get started on my WordPress dashboard on the left-hand side, hover over plugins and click on Add Plugin. Next, let's search for Instagram feed like this. And the one we're looking for is this one here, the Smash Balloon Social Photo Feed Plugin. Click Install Now. And once installed, click Activate. And there we go, our plugin has been installed. Now we can click on Launch the Setup Wizard. For the first step, we'll have to connect to our Instagram account. So click on Add New. And on this screen, you can choose the option that best suits your Instagram account, whether you have a Business Basic or Business Advanced account. The Business Advanced option connects via Facebook, and you can select this one if your Instagram business account is connected to a Facebook business page. Let's continue with this option. And next, we can click on Connect. And here it's asking us if we've connected Facebook with the plugin before. I'm going to click on No. Then I can click on Connect with Facebook. This will take us to Facebook, and if you're logged in, click on Edit Access. And on this screen, you can see all the permissions requested by Smashblue. Make sure that they're toggled on wherever you see your Instagram account or the Facebook page connected to that account. After that, you can close this and click on Continue. You'll also get a pop-up here asking you to confirm if this is your domain. Click Yes, it's my domain. And now back inside Smash Balloon, we can see that Instagram account over here. Select it and click Add. That account will now be available as a source, so we can click on Next. And here we are on step number two, configuring the features. With the social photo feed plugin, we can display a feed of posts from our Instagram account. That's already enabled. Next, we also have downtime prevention, image optimization, and if you'd like to, you can also install other plugins made by Smash Blue too. These plugins can let you display feeds from Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok. We highly recommend you check them out, but for this tutorial, I'm going to toggle it off. And you also have the option to enable the Reviews Feed plugin by Smash Balloon 2 to display reviews from Google and Yelp in the free version. Once again, for this tutorial, I'm going to toggle it off. And if we scroll down, you can also see some of the features available in the pro version of the plugin, such as displaying a feed of posts from any Instagram hashtag or a feed of posts that you were tagged in as well. And on top of that, your site visitors can view your photos and videos from your Instagram feed inside the Lightbox view. These are only some of the features available in the pro version. For now, let's click on Next. On this step, you can see that you also have the option to install a GDPR plugin, WP Consent. This is the GDPR plugin we recommend with all our Smash Balloon plugins. If you'd like to check it out, you can leave it toggled on, but for now, we're going to toggle it off. Next, we can click on Install Selected Plugins. And there we go, we're all set up, so we can now scroll down. You'll also see an option here to upgrade to Instagram Feed Pro for 50% off. If you'd like to check it out, you can click on the button here. But for now, we can scroll down and click on Complete Setup Without Upgrading. Now the social photo view plugin has been set up, so we can begin creating our Instagram feed. Click on Add New, and on the first step, you'll have to select a feed type. With the free version of the plugin, you can only display posts from your user timeline. That option is already selected for us, but as I mentioned before, with the pro version, you can display posts from any public hashtag or posts that you were tagged into. For now, let's continue with this option and click Next. And here we can select the Instagram account that we connected with Smash Balloon. This one here, once selected, click Next. And instantly, we have a live preview of our brand new Instagram feed inside the plugin. You can see all the latest posts from the Instagram account we connected, Green Grove Eatery, and the posts are displayed inside a grid layout. At the top of the feed, we have a header, which includes a profile picture, account name, and bio. And this feed is now ready to be embedded inside Elementor. But before I show you how to do that, let me show you how we can customize this feed. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, click on Feed Layout. Here you can customize the layout of your Instagram feed. With the free version, we only have access to the grid layout, which displays our posts in rows and columns. You can use layouts like the carousel, masonry, and the highlight layout. If you're interested, keep watching till the end because I'll tell you more about that later in the video. Next, if you scroll down, you can choose the aspect ratio for these Instagram posts. Currently, they're one-to-one, -one, meaning that they're displayed inside a square. Alternatively, you can open it up and change it to the Instagram official one, which is 3x4, like this, or 4x5, portrait layout. For now, let's continue with 3x4. Underneath that, you can also choose how many posts you want to display inside your feed initially on desktop and mobile. We're currently displaying 20 posts, but if we want to modify that, just enter the number of posts you want to display. For example, let's go with nine, and our Instagram feed will automatically update to display nine posts instead of 20. Next, we can also choose how many columns we want inside our Instagram feed. At the moment, we have four on desktop, but to modify it, just open it up and select the number of columns you want to display. Let's go with three. We now have a more traditional Instagram feed with three columns and nine posts. And if you're happy with the changes, click save on the top right corner. If you want to modify the color palette of your Instagram feed, under the Customize tab, click on Color Scheme. Currently, it's set to Inherit from Theme, which means that your Instagram feed will automatically match the design of your WordPress theme. Next, we have a light theme, dark theme, or even a custom theme that allows you to select the exact colors you want for your feed like this. And once you have a color scheme you're happy with, make sure to click Save on the top right corner. So now that you know how to create and customize your Instagram feed, let me show you how we can embed it inside Element. To embed it, click on Embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on Add to a Page. 
Next, select the page you want to embed your feed to and click on Add. Now inside our page, we can click on Edit with Elementor. And here we are now on our Elementor web page. And if I scroll down, we can embed our Instagram feed right here. To embed it, we can add a shortcode block. That's this one here. So we can click, drag it, and place it on our page like this. Next, inside the box on the left-hand side, we can paste the shortcode that we just copied. Once that's done, just click on Publish, and let's check out what it looks like on the live website. All right, here we are now on our live Elementor web page. And if I scroll down, we have a brand new Instagram feed right here in the middle of the page. It looks just like the one we designed inside the plugin. It features the latest post from the account we connected, which is Green Cove Eatery, with the account details at the top, followed by the posts in a grid layout. You can see that we have three columns and nine posts all together. If a site visitor clicks on a post, like this one here, it will take them directly to that post on Instagram itself. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the feed, you'll also find a button that says load more. If you click on it, that will load additional posts directly inside your Instagram feed on your Elementor website. And there you have it. That's how we can create an Instagram feed for free and display it on your Elementor website. If you like what you've seen so far, you should definitely check out Instagram Feed Pro. With Instagram Feed Pro, you get access to more feed types, like the hashtags feed and tag posts feed. You can create feeds with a variety of different layout options, such as the carousel and highlight layout. You'll also have access to powerful moderation features, giving you complete control to choose the exact posts you want to display inside your Instagram feed. Not to mention the lightbox view, allowing your site visitors to browse your Instagram content up close without leaving your site. If you're interested in checking out Instagram Feed Pro, visit smashballoon.com. Or if you'd like to check out the free version, install it from the WordPress repository. If you have any issues, please contact our awesome support team and they'd be happy to help you out. Please consider subscribing to our channel for social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.